Yeah, so we just finished playing a Fast Five game actually, which is cool. Um, and then Stacey gave me a phone call and um, yeah, shared the news with me, which is really exciting. Oh, I'm really honoured. I um, always try and lead by example, no matter what my position is, but to actually be named captain is, yeah, something really nice and certainly very special to captain um, the Australian Fast Five team. Yeah, Fast Five is obviously really fast and you're subbing a lot of your players on and off. So I think it's crucial that we all stand up as a team and, and really um, work as a unit and have our communication there uh, so that we can effectively play the game. Uh, I think it's probably a little bit nicer that I'm at goalkeeper, so I might have a little bit more time to actually um, communicate and work as a unit. Yeah, I really enjoyed having Stacey as a coach last year. I think she's done such a great job um, with the FIBA and I think the thing that I like the most is that she was a past player and, and captain the FIBA side. So I have so much respect for her and I think that we have a really good relationship and yeah, I'm excited to have Jules on board because she'll just bring a different element again. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to get into camp on Monday. Yeah, I think going into camp is really important prior to the competition. We can go over um, what style we want to play, what we want to achieve and, and how I guess our Fast Five game really looks and I think um, we all play against each other in the normal season so it's a nice chance to actually get to play with other people rather than your club team um, and then really play on different strengths. Everyone's in the team for a purpose and a reason and we have to explore those strengths and really come together and use them as a team. Yeah, so obviously England uh, won the competition last year and Australia hasn't won the competition at Fast Five, so we'll definitely be going in there with the motivation and the drive to win the championship. But obviously, um, just because of the way the power play happens, long shots, it can actually be anyone's game. So I think from a, you know, a fans and outsider perspective, it's really exciting because you've got all the countries going up against each other and I don't think you can really pick a, a winner going into it.